So Tom asked the students in his class how many hours they watched television last week. We have an incomplete histogram was drawn using his results. Eight students watched television for between 10 and 15 hours. Six students watched between 0 and 10 hours. Use this information to complete the diagram. Well, if eight students uh, used watch TV for between 10 and 15 hours, we know our frequency, our frequency equals our interval width times our frequency density. We know the frequency is 8. Between 10 and 15 is 5. So the frequency density then to match the 10 to 15 would be 8 divided by 5. 8 over 5 is 1.6. So the frequency density is 1.6. So you'll see that's on the um, kind of like the eighth square. I'll write the 1.6 there for the frequency density. And we can use that to finish off. Now we're told that six students watch television between 0 and 10 hours. So 0 to 10. So we've got six students um, between 0 and 10. Well, that interval width is 10. So it's 10 times 0.6 then. to give that an area of 6. So we need to line up um, between 0 and 10, 0.6. Now we've got 1.6 there. And if you look, you've got um, eight divisions. I thought I'll mark them in. So they're going up in 0 0.2, 0 0.4. So 0 0.6 is here. 0 0.6 is there. And we just come across like that and draw the rest of the graph in. Remember the width is 10. The width is 10. The height is 0 0.6. So just here, if a rectangle really 10 times 0 0.6 gives us that frequency of 6 students. Now we're told that no student watched television for more than 30 hours. Work out how many students Tom asked. So we can put in the information that we already know. So we know that we've got 6 for the first bar, 10 for the second. Um, for the third bar, uh, 1 1.6, 1 1.4, 1 1.2. third bar is 1.2 high, and it's 5 wide. So 1.2 times 5, 1.2 times 5 is 6. So that will be 6 here. And then our last bar, um, that seems to line up with... 0.5 times 10, so it looks like we've got 5 in the last one. You see the width here is 10, and the height lines up with 0.5. So we now know we've got 6, 10, 6, and 5, so our total frequencies, and that comes to 10, 12, and 5, 27. So he asked 27 students altogether.